First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 to 9. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them morning after morning. He opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from butt-puts and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Cariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me? if I hand him over to you. They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciple then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord? He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, and my dear children, let me take you away from the gospel for another reflection. Throughout this week, we find two characters, Peter and Judas. I would like to stress on these two characters since these two characters are really close to our own lifestyles, dear brothers and sisters. Let's begin this way. Remorse can kill or purify. Repentance, if we are to understand what it is. Because we find Peter, he betrayed Jesus, but he went from shame of his threefold denial to become the rock on which the church was found. He was made the leader of the church, but initially 
his life, we find Jesus was denied. Peter could not even imagine to accept that Jesus was his master. But what happened to Judas? Judas could not contemplate on possibility of forgiveness. So he went into darkness. He hanged himself and he died into total darkness. Dear brothers and sisters, we know we are humans. We have our sinful states, dear brothers and sisters. But do we really understand that though we are sinners, that God would not abandon us at any moment, at any cost? He will never abandon us. He loves us and He loved us that's why he sent his son to us. He never punishes the wrongdoer. But the wrongdoer's deeds are being taken into justice, dear brothers and sisters. But amidst all these excuses that we get, amidst all the forgiveness that we receive from our loving Heavenly Father, are we to continue in our sinful states? Maybe sometimes that unknowingly we get into sin. Maybe sometimes that we begin to justify the sinful deeds that we do. Remember, whatever it is, the sin is a state where we totally, out of our full will, take a decision to stay away from God. But still, God comes after us like a hound, like a hound, chasing us and trying to catch us, trying to gather us and to bring us or to take us into his kingdom. Dear brothers and sisters, we need to reflect on this because God has sent, God sent his only son for our sake, for our sinfulness. By understanding and by reflecting on this, let us not fail ourselves to stay close to our heavenly father. May God bless you all.